Hello everyone, I'm here today to show you how to set up and use a Shuttle Pro V2. The Shuttle Pro is actually designed for photo and video editing, but it works exceptionally well as a pendant for your CNC machine too. The inner and outer wheels can both be used for jogging and all of these buttons are completely customizable, which makes it a great tool to have. To get started, you need to open Mach 4 to your usual profile and enable the Shuttle Pro plugin, which is already included. Go to Configure, Control, Plugins, and click the X right here to enable the Shuttle Pro plugin. You'll be prompted to restart, which is what we're going to do next. Once Mach 4 has reloaded, we're going to configure Plugins Shuttle Pro to start mapping our buttons. Now here it says press any button and the configuration for that device will pop up. So we're going to start with this button here. And I can choose any option from this long drop down to map to that button. Now you can do this however you want, but I'm going to start with Jog Select X, Set, and then continue to the next button, which I'm going to do Jog Select Y followed by Jog Select Z. Now what this does is this allows me to use the outer wheel to do a continuous jog, which I'll demonstrate here. We'll go to Enable. I'm going to click Set X and then Jog. Likewise, I can do Set Y and I can jog in both directions. Now this is a continuous jog, meaning as long as I hold the button in either direction, it's going to keep jogging in that direction. As Soon as I release, it stops. Another useful function is Home All Access. To use this feature, you'll need to set up your homing behavior if you haven't done so already. Check out our Mach 4 Basics video on homing and soft limits for more info on how to do that. Now first I'm going to Disable, Configure, Plugins, Shuttle Pro, just like before, and I'm going to click the button that I want to use as Home. Now I need to choose Home All Axes from the list. Now you can choose to home your axes individually, but because I have a home switch set up on all of my axes, I'm just going to have them do it all at once. Now if I enable and click that button, it's going to home all my axes, as it should. One of the coolest functions you can use with the Shuttle Pro is the user G-code function. This allows you to run short snippets of G-code just by pressing a button. You can't load an entire cut file, but you can use a line or two of G-code to get your machine into position. I'm going to use this feature to move to my tool change position. To enter your G-code, you can use one of two methods. If you go to Wizards, you'll see a Shuttle Pro G-code wizard. Here, you can enter in your short lines of G-code. I'm going to go with... G53Z0. And enter in my tool change position. Now I found this earlier on using machine coordinates so I don't have to change anything in my work coordinate system. There. And accept. The second way that you can set this up is by going to Diagnostic, Reg File, here's your Shuttle Pro, and there's the user G code there. As you can see, it's already been updated, so you can use either method. If you want to edit this one, just double click and it opens up an edit, edit window here. So the next step is to assign a button to the user G code. So we're going to go back to Configure, oops, Configure Plugins, Shuttle Pro and choose the button. I'm going to use this button here and find the user G-code option. Oop. And set. So now when I click that button you're going to see my machine start to move towards my tool change position which is right over the tool touch off puck in the back there. So first enable. The last thing I need to show you is how to set up the inner jog wheel. This MPG wheel allows you to jog incrementally in either direction. To configure the inner MPG wheel, go to Configure, Control, MPGs. We're going to enable one of our MPGs, set the encoder to Shuttle Pro. I'm going to leave the counts per detent at 1, which is the smallest value. We'll change the acceleration to 10 and the velocity to 100%. And hit OK. 
Now if I enable and select jog X, I can use the inner jog wheel to move one increment per tick in either direction. You don't see much movement on the machine, but check out the DROs. You can also increase or decrease your jogging increment the way you normally would here in the jogging tab. Now I have a functional and a customized pendant that I can use with Mach 4. If I change my mind about what the buttons do, I can easily reconfigure and mix things up. Stay safe, be creative, and as always, happy CNCing!